ready for a web-slinging adventure. The upcoming movie Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse is here to amp up the excitement. Will Miles Morales save the multiverse? Who will join him on this adventure? And when can we watch it? Let's uncover the thrills of Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. After the positive response to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, the focus is now on the next movie, Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. This upcoming film will follow Miles Morales as he tries to save the multiverse from Spot's destructive plans. Breaking away from the usual Peter Parker origin tale, the Spider-Verse series introduced a fresh cinematic journey for Spider-Man, beginning with 2018's Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. The Academy Award-winning animated movie centers on Miles Morales, a younger Spider-Man who teams up with various other versions of Spider-Man from different dimensions. Together, they battle the Kingpin, and Miles learns to embrace his own newfound abilities. The widespread themes of growing up in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, along with its skilled voice actors and impressive hip-hop soundtrack, guaranteed its nearly unanimous praise. The same level of acclaim continued with Across the Spider-Verse. Okay, let's do this one last time. While having characters from different realities team up is now common in superhero stories, the Spider-Verse series stands out due to its extensive array of Spider-Man appearances and its visually appealing art style. Even though the journeys of Miles, Gwen, and others aren't over, Beyond the Spider-Verse will conclude Sony's animated trilogy. By the way, guys, don't miss out on the action. Hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up now. So Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse is happening? Behind the creation of Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse, there's a talented team. Kemp Powers, known for co-directing Soul, Justin K. Thompson, who was the production designer for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and Joaquim Dos Santos, who directed episodes of Justice League Unlimited, are all coming back to lead the sequel. When it comes to writing, the trio will continue to collaborate with the producers of the Spider-Verse series, Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. They will be working together on the screenplay with David Callahan, who is known for his work on Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. The reason why the writing and directing teams for both Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse are the same is because these two movies were filmed simultaneously and share a strong connection in their storylines. In 2021, Lord and Miller, the creators, explained that they had so many ideas that they couldn't fit them into just one film. This led them to split the story into two sequels instead. They are once again working with Spider-Man franchise producers Avi Arad, Amy Pascal, and Christina Steinberg, initially referred to as Across the Spider-Verse Part 2. The third movie was later given the title Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. Despite the change in title, the story remains a continuous and interconnected narrative. Now, let's see what could happen in Beyond the Spider-Verse. Specifics about the plot of Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse have been closely guarded, but the significant cliffhanger conclusion in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse provides a clear hint about the direction of the story. In Across the Spider-Verse, Miles faces conflict with the Spider Society due to acquiring powers he shouldn't possess. This triggers a chain reaction that endangers the interlinked realities of various spider-powered individuals. In an attempt to alter his father's destiny, Miles flees from Spider-Man 2099 and becomes trapped in a challenging situation on Earth-42, where Spider-Man is absent. In the beginning of Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse, Miles will face off against his alternate version, now known as the Prowler. Meanwhile, Gwen and her recently assembled group of friends will work to rescue him. Simultaneously, Miguel O'Hara will strive to maintain the integrity of the multiverse's continuity, while Spot evolves into a highly formidable representation of multiverse traversal. However, apart from these details, there is a lack of specific information available about the movie's plot, and who will return in the next Spider-Verse. In Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse, the primary focus remains on Miles Morales. Shamik Moore, who voiced Miles previously, is expected to reprise his role. Given the suspenseful ending of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, it's likely that the main cast from the Spider-Verse series will return as well. Notably, Haley Steinfeld as Spider-Woman and Jake Johnson as Peter B. Parker will play significant roles in concluding the trilogy. The recently formed team of Spider-Heroes, including characters like Spider-Man Noir, voiced by Nicolas Cage, Penny Parker, voiced by Kamiko Glenn, Spider-Ham, voiced by John Mulaney, Spider-Punk, voiced by Daniel Kaluuya, 
Pavatar Prabhakar, voiced by Karan Soni, and Spiderbite, voiced by Amanda Steinberg, will have also important roles in the upcoming movie. Similarly, the same principle applies to the characters opposing Miles Morales. This includes Spot, voiced by Jason Schwartzman, Spider-Woman, portrayed by Issa Rae, Spider-Man 2099, played by Oscar Isaac, and an alternate version of Aaron Davis, voiced by Mahershala Ali. Because the narrative of Miles' journey as a young hero is heavily influenced by themes of family, it's evident that both Brian Tyree Henry and Luna Lauren Velez will reprise their roles as Miles' parents in Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. On the other hand, Beyond the Spider-Verse's ideal ending would put so much pressure on Spider-Man 4's story. If Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse achieves its desired conclusion, it could potentially create challenges for the storyline of Spider-Man 4. The animated movie has left numerous plot elements unresolved compared to its predecessor Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The primary conflict revolves around the Spot's attempt to harm Miles' father, a situation that presents various possible outcomes. Despite facing resistance from multiple Spider-People across different realities, Miles remains resolute in preventing this tragedy. A satisfying conclusion to his journey across the three animated films would involve his successful effort to save his father against all odds. If Miles manages to rescue his father from a significant event without causing catastrophic consequences, an achievement that should be nearly impossible, it could also contribute to the growth of another character. Miguel O'Hara, Finding Hope Again, would mark a significant transformation that only Miles' successful mission could trigger. Another noteworthy achievement in an ideal ending for Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse would be Miles forming a friendship with his alternate self, the Prowler variant, aiding him in stepping away from a path of darkness. If the movie achieves all these goals, Spider-Man 4 might struggle to match the excitement and accomplishments of the animated film possibly making it appear less captivating in comparison within the realm of Spider-Man movies. But wait, here's a twist. No Way Home has already set up a major Spider-Man 4 challenge. Even without the influence of Spider-Man beyond the Spider-Verse, Tom Holland's upcoming MCU film faces a challenging task. Trying to make Spider-Man 4 even bigger than Spider-Man No Way Home is essentially impossible. The latter movie utilized the concept of the multiverse to bring in Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's versions of Spider-Man, creating a storyline where they teamed up against villains from previous Spider-Man film series. The scale of Spider-Man 4 can't match that magnitude, so the better option might be to take a more emotionally driven approach. However, even as Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse achieves its desired conclusion, it could potentially overshadow a heartfelt story in Spider-Man 4 where Tom Holland's Peter Parker grapples with solitude. But the main question for now is, how long do we have to wait for Beyond the Spider-Verse? As of now, there is no confirmed release date for Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. Initially, when it was announced in 2021, along with Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Beyond the Spider-Verse was scheduled for release on March 29, 2024. However, in July 2023, Sony revealed that the movie had been taken off its release calendar. The studio was reportedly exploring various potential release dates, which would depend on the durations of the Writers Guild of America and Screen Actors Guild American Federation of Television and Radio Artists strikes. And there you have it, folks. Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse is swinging into action, promising more thrills and surprises. What do you think, guys? How will Beyond the Spider-Verse reshape the Spider-Man universe? Let me know in the comment section. Stay tuned as we unravel the web of excitement.